What's up, kiddos? This is Chris Porter with you. Suck at photography again. Sometimes I suck, and the only thing you can do in life, guys, is strive to get a little bit better. Today, I'm going to show you a tool that will assist you in your journey of getting better. I have a program called Lightroom made by Adobe. Now, Lightroom is a really really cool program this is Lightroom 2 I think actually I'm pretty sure Lightroom 3 is out now but like I said I don't have a reason to get it because Lightroom 2 does me just fine so I'm going to show you guys a couple of the features that I love about Lightroom and what makes it a really really cool program to have in your arsenal alright guys the best way that I can show you how to use this program is show you how I use it on a daily basis first of all um, you can get the photos into Lightroom a couple of different kinds of ways you can either import them from a disk which that's what I'm about to show you guys or you can um, import them every time you upload every time you connect your camera you can you can import them okay I found the folder that I want to import into Lightroom and it's called Rebecca and you can click down here and import all photos and select the folder and there are two different folders in here and I'm going to just click import or if you don't if you don't want all the pictures in here all you have to do is click here or here like if I only wanted these 46 in here they're at the bottom all I have to do is scroll down and there they are or if I just want everything in there I just click import and notice here how this little line will just go across and then once it gets to the end it'll stop and the folder will end up here notice Rebecca it's right here so you might have to scroll down to see it notice I have two different hard drives that uh, it sees when I say it I mean Lightroom and notice when I mouse over the image changes in, changes in the navigator alright guys once the photos are imported and you can tell because there's no line up here and um, once the photos are imported into Lightroom that's when you can start making some changes this is a I'm gonna quickly show you how to do this the library gets to show you the view where you can choose the different photos over here and then let's say once you've chosen the folder that you want to edit you can go to develop photo like if I choose this photo oh I like that photo it's a nice photo you can click develop and it'll take you to that photo and you can make some changes to it let's say I want to do a quick white balance on it so I can click this and then click up here and notice while I'm moving the mouse around here the color changes over here watch and that way you can gauge if that's the white you want and notice it got a little bit cooler a little bit bluer so I click it again and I want it a little bit more with a little bit more red in it so I find a white spot that I like there we go and the same thing you can let's say if you want to do it yourself like the custom white balance you can move it over here get a little, little bit more vintage look move it over here red psychedelic back to green incredible hulk so this is a really cool interesting tool back to the regular and then you can raise the exposure let's say it's a little bit dark make it pop a little bit um, make the blackers black add a little bit more contrast to it same, this kind of does the same thing, but it does it to the entire picture instead of just the blacks. And the fill light adds a little bit more light to the entire image. Recovery, let's say it's uh, something that's a little bit dark, like right here is maybe a little bit dark. Add a little bit more recovery to it. And it puts back in some of the pixels that you may have lost. Clarity makes the image a little bit sharper vibrance makes the colors pop a little bit more or takes the colors away 
and saturation most of you guys know what saturation is just from Photoshop adds a lot of colors uh, makes all the pixelates pop makes all the pixels pop <laughs> and let's say if you just totally messed it all up and you don't know what you were doing and you just decided that none of it looks right and it just totally screwed up you can click reset and it resets the whole thing or you can click edit and undo the settings keep going back undo the brightness keep going back undo fill or you can click edit and control Z click control Z and do the same thing keep going back and back and like I said you can always reset and just take you back to the original image uh, also over here to the right you have some Lightroom I'm sorry over here to the left you have some Lightroom presets age uh, age photo antique grayscale these are just different little presets that you guys might use I use sepia a lot on photos uh, you can come over here and make a slight slight adjustment to it and the cool thing about the all of this is is non-destructive it's not doing any of this to the image it take it makes a copy of it when you import it in here a small copy and you do the non-destructive changes to that copy until you go in and tell it to um, make the changes to the original or you normally export it out to a folder that creates a, so, a total separate original that, with the changes that you created in Lightroom But guys, I've gone way over my five minutes, actually a couple of minutes over my five minutes. And um, I mean, I've showed you a couple of things in Lightroom. This is a real cool feature down here. You can just choose the photo you want to make the changes to. And all of these are really helpful. Like, let's say if you're shooting a wedding, this would be really helpful. Like going back to the library right quick and reduce the size of the thumbnails and let's say all of these shots right here I'm gonna select that hit shift and select that and then I'm gonna make a global exposure and I'm increasing the exposure of all of these at the same time which is great like I said when you're shooting a wedding or you you wanna normally light the photos perfect while you're shooting sometimes that's not possible this is a good program if you just wanna make changes if you kept the light in the same place the whole time and all of these pictures are the same darkness or they're the same to light then you can go in here and make these exposure changes it's a really great program for that I mean I mean these are at that point then these are money shots or you click auto tone and just it'll make what it thinks the changes should be in each one of these photos notice how it's changing bam 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 look at that just makes it so much easier for you guys especially like I said with weddings or big photo shoots even with this photo shoot I think I shot like maybe 400 shots on it so and then after you make the changes all you have to do is go over here and click export and it's just gonna export those photos that I have highlighted you come over here file on disk or you can file on CD file on disk is normally what I do with it and burn full-size images you choose where you want them to go normally what I do when choosing where I want them to go is I choose the folder that I'm looking in I come in here click that Rebecca then I click make new folder and then I put um, I call it like prints because normally I'm gonna just give them straight to the client and but that's just something I do I mean you guys can name it whatever you want to name it edits prints um, I mean just different things like that you click OK and all you have to do is make sure the quality is at 100%. That's because I want them full print size and I don't want it to go in the subfolder. And then I just click export. And again, we have the little indicator bar. Uh, notice how quick it's going. It's going to go depending, the quickness is going to depend on your computer. Okay. Cause I had it on disk so it's trying to burn it to a disk so I push cancel burn and I'm gonna show you guys in the folder that I created click Rebecca there it is prints and these are the prints that have the changes that I made in Lightroom it's just like that that's money guys quick no muss no fuss the quicker you can get out photos the quicker you can collect from your clients 
quicker they'll be happy. Look at that. There's even the black and white picture. I'm mean, sorry, the sepia picture that I did. Lovely pictures. All right, guys, and just FYI, if you want to uh, make a little bit more room on your screen, you can always hide these and then go back in. And once you hide them, all you have to do is mouse over them and they'll pop back out. If you need a little bit more room, like your monitor is a little bit smaller. It's a really cool feature. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my short tutorial today on Lightroom. Um, I'm going to create a full-fledged uh, Lightroom tutorial for you guys if you want, and I'll create that for you guys, and I'll put that on YouSuckAtPhotography.com. I showed you how to import photos into Lightroom. I've shown you how to export photos out of Lightroom. I've showed you exposure, white balance, brightness, contrast, um, sharpening, so, I mean, what it boils down to, Lightroom is a terrific program, guys, if you want to go through a lot of pictures in a small amount of time. And remember, time is money. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, you suck at photography. Follow my tips. Not for long. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Later.